What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are going to be testing a ton of new drugstore stuff. Literally January is always the best month. There are so many new things coming out at the drugstore that I'm so excited about, but I'm actually going to end up having to split this up into like two different videos. Like I'm going to do a full face of all new drugstore stuff today, but then I literally have like a full face worth of other new drugstore stuff that I want to try out too. So we're going to have a lot of drugstore videos coming soon because they are dropping so many things in 2020 and I am here for it. And everything we're testing out today, I'm like really, really excited about. So with that further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, up first we have primer. I found this guy at Ulta and this is new from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Jelly Face Primer. So I figured we had to get it so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It has like a little um, foil seal on it which is nice. Some of the stuff we're testing today was sent to me in PR, but honestly, most of it I bought myself. Um, so most of it came from either Walgreens or Ulta. Because sometimes Ulta doesn't have all the new stuff, but then sometimes they have like exclusives. Like I believe this was an Ulta exclusive. So like the only place you're gonna find this new jelly primer is Ulta. Um, so then I went to Walgreens as well to get some of the other stuff. But anyways, this is what it looks like. And literally at first I thought there was nothing in here because it literally is completely clear and it kind of looks like it's an empty jar. But there is a jelly primer in there if you guys kind of see it. Ooh. It's literally like bouncing. Okay, I don't know how, like, do I like dig out some of it? It literally like, here's just like a little, it literally is like jello. Like, I, am I doing this the way? Oh, okay, all right. It literally just like turns into like a liquid basically immediately when you start to spread it out, which is nice. Definitely a little weird consistency because you kind of have to like dig your finger in there to get it out because it's not like, like, if you just go like this, you're really not getting a lot of it. I guess you get some. But it feels really nice and cooling on the skin. And it has a tackiness to it, too, which is good. Because it'll help the foundation, hopefully, adhere better to the skin. So there's probably, like, glycerin or something in it. I don't know if it says... Yeah, there is glycerin in it. Um, which a lot of primers have that kind of give that tackier feel that helps the foundation adhere to the skin. So it feels good, but it's not giving me, like, overly, like, dewiness or anything like that. It really is just kind of, like, a little bit of tackiness. So even if you have dry skin, it's not going to, like, super hydrate you or anything. So I do think dry or oily skin could use it. Alrighty, now for foundation, I am so excited to try this. This is new from Wet n Wild, and this is their Photo Focus Foundation, but the Dewy version because Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Foundation, the original one, is actually one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore. I love it. It's great. It definitely is very matte though. So I was really excited that they came out with a dewy version and I can't wait to see how this works. I got the shade Golden Beige. The regular Photo Focus Foundation, the only thing I don't like about it is the smell. It smells like straight up paint so I'm interested to see if this one does as well. It has a scent but it's less of a paint smell I feel like. So that's a good thing. Um, so I'm just going to use a little spatula and apply to my face. I do like this little spatula thing because it's easy to just like apply foundation or whatever to your face, but I know some people don't like it because it's like not technically hygienic for you to like put it in there, put it on your face and put it back, but it doesn't really bother me, honestly. <laughs> but it definitely has a much better scent than the original, like right off the bat. I got so much foundation on my lips. That is not cute. Okay, getting rid of that. Um, we're gonna go in with the Tati Beauty Blendy Full. I have been obsessed with this. I have been loving it. Mine actually is not squeaky clean. I did use it yesterday and I forgot to clean it honestly after, um, but it honestly feels fine. So in my video, I thought that I was going to have to wash it in between every single use but I think you're probably gonna be fine with every other we'll see because I'm gonna use it right now to blend out this foundation but yeah I mean it feels completely fine but I have really really been loving this and using this for my foundation my concealer and my powders so if you haven't seen my full review on this I will link it um, on the screen here but I have really been enjoying it and yeah I mean it seems to be blending this out completely fine, even though it's not squeaky clean. I still will probably try to clean it after every time, but I honestly just forgot. And I wanted to use it for today's video, so, and I didn't have enough time to like wash it and then wait for it to like dry, you know? But I honestly think it does an amazing job of blending everything out. And this foundation looks pretty good. This color is a little bit off on me, but I think once we go in with concealer and powder and everything else, it'll all kind of mesh together. But I believe this was the same shade I was in the original golden beige, which is why I got it, but. Definitely loomy, dewy finish, um, which I like. I think it looks really, really pretty. If you have oily skin, I don't think you're gonna like this, like already off the bat, because this is like some dewy foundations really only give you like more of a natural finish. I would definitely say this is dewy, this is luminous, like my forehead is glowing. Um, you can see like with the light hitting it, like it's glowing. But I don't mind that, so I 
honestly think it looks really really nice very good coverage like any problem area that I had on my face is like good with this which is nice so so far I would say that it's a win I think it looks really nice and I think if you really like dewy like luminosity to your skin you will actually really like this keeping on the dewy glowy trend I figured we would try out the new NYX born to glow radiant concealer I picked this one up at Ulta as well the shade I got is a light ivory they were out of a lot of shades at Ulta so hopefully we'll be able to make this work it wasn't my first choice but I guess it's like a popular um, item because they didn't have a lot of them left so is it like a little oh okay I thought it was going to be one of those things where you pull the stick, like the little um, doe foot out, but it's like one of these applicators. All right, got some there. Oh, this shade should actually be fine because I do like a lighter under eye. So I'm just going to apply this to my under eye. And if you guys hear any loud noises in the background, it's currently snowing outside and they're plowing the streets. Um, so I can hear the plows going up and down. Hopefully you guys can't. But if you do, that's what's going on. Unfortunately, I live in snowy New Jersey and um, yeah. <laughs> Comment down below what the weather is like near you guys so I can vicariously live through you if you live in a nice climate. <laughs> Although some people would say the snow is a nice climate too. I just personally don't like it. This concealer feels actually really nice. Like it feels cooling and like hydrating, which I like, but I'm interested to see because it's supposed to be glowy, like is it gonna crease like crazy? I don't know, um, so we'll see. But I'm gonna go in again with the blend before to blend that out. I just kind of like pinch it like this um, when I'm blending out in more like specific areas. Yeah, this concealer definitely has like a glowiness to it. I feel like my forehead is glowing, <laughs> but I don't think that's a bad thing. But I know some people don't like that look, so. And these might not be the products for you. And this blending out super easily as well. And for a glowy concealer, I do think it's giving me good coverage, like on my under eye. A lot of times when it's like glowy, loomy products, they don't give you good coverage. So I like that both the foundation and it seems so far the concealer are actually giving me good coverage, even though they're glowy. Because for a long time, it was like all glowy products were just like super sheer, like BB cream sort of coverage, which is like not, you know, what I want really when I'm doing like full glam looks but I will say the concealer definitely isn't like the fullest of full coverage concealers I would honestly say it's about medium coverage but this is still giving me a nice medium coverage and pretty much covered up my under eye bags so I can't complain and these two together I think actually work really nicely I know there is a NYX foundation um, in this line the born to glow but I really wanted to try the wet n wild foundation but let me know if you want to see the NYX foundation in like an upcoming video from the born to glow line and I can definitely do that I don't have any new powder to test out so I'm just gonna go and set my under eyes with some powder and I'm using just a little blendy full to do that. I've been liking to use this one to set my under eyes. And this will honestly probably will take away any of the luminosity that we really had from that concealer. Um, but I feel like I would never be able to just like not set it. So Lumi concealers from that perspective for me are kind of like, yeah, they look nice when they're first applied and Lumi, but then they always kind of go away because I am going to be setting it with a powder. All right, now we're gonna get started on the brows. I'm gonna go in with this new product from L'Oreal. I also found this one at Ulta. Um, almost dropped it there. This is the Micro Ink Pen by Brow Stylist, and I got the shade Light Brunette, so not sure what this is gonna be like. I did actually just tint my brows, so they're looking pretty dark already, so hopefully this works. <laughs> okay, so it has a very interesting tip. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, so you're basically supposed to just go like this to like create the look of brow, little brow strokes, which is why it has like the ridges. So I'll do a little on my hand to show you. Oh, that's actually really cool. All right. I'm actually really excited about this. Not sure if I thought this, I kind of thought this was going to be like a little gimmicky, but that looks actually really good on my hand. So let me just spoolie these brows in place and then we will go in. I'm just going to like lightly flick. I feel like this is a great product for that front part of the brow. Like to get those little brow like strokes in the front. It looks really good. For the rest of the brow, I feel like I would prefer like a regular pen. But you can kind of sculpt it out by using that top point. And it has less of like a like color pencil sort of feel more like a marker. Like you know how like brow pencils are normally like, you know, color pencil kind of feeling. This is like a marker. Um but it actually looks pretty good. Gives a little bit more of like a natural look to the brow, but I don't mind it. And I actually really like it for that front part to do those little like hair-like strokes. I don't love it, but I definitely don't hate it. I feel like I wouldn't use it like this to do my full brow, but I would definitely use it in the front because sometimes I feel like a pencil can be a little too harsh right in the front of the brow. So 
this is great for that. But for doing my whole brow, I feel like just using a pencil would be easier, honestly. Alrighty, now for our eyes, we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Blush Crush Palette. This looks so pretty. I literally like have to use it. So we're first gonna jump in with the shade The One. And I'm just gonna pop this in the crease as a neutral sort of transition shade. This palette gives me such Valentine's Day vibes. I can't believe we're already like halfway through January and already like gonna be moving into February. But that's definitely what this palette reminds me of is like Valentine's Day because it's like pink and flirty and cute with flowers. Now I'm gonna go in with cheek to cheek and I'm going to build that in the crease and kind of carve my crease out with that pink. The shadows seem to be blending super easily, like typical ColourPop shadows, so it doesn't seem like there's anything wonky with the formula, because you just never know, like, I do find ColourPop's palettes to be very consistent in quality, like their formula and stuff, where with some brands it's not like that. There's like palettes that I love from them, and then palettes that just don't work for me. Um, but ColourPop definitely is a brand where I feel like their formulas are like consistent throughout their palette, so it's really just the difference in like the colors. And then we're gonna go in with a Blush Wine. This shade does have a little shimmer to it, but we're gonna just pack that in the outer corner and gently bring it into the crease. I don't want it to be like too dark, so I'm really just going in with a little bit because I still want to kind of keep this look light. And even though it has shimmer, it's like blending fine in that outer crease area. It just has like very tiny, like white kind of glitter particles in it. But as I'm blending, they're honestly kind of going away. <laughs> so it's almost like working like a mad shadow. And then all over the lid, I'm going to go in with a Blossom Up. And I'm just going in with my finger and packing this on the lid since it is like a more shimmer shade. I feel like they always apply better with a finger. So I try and use my finger for most of my lid and then I'll just go in with a brush like right in the inner corner where I can't get like a precise application. But that's really pretty. It's like a duochrome kind of like it shines like pink and then kind of like a golden yellow in different lights. And then I'll just go in with a brush and do any area I couldn't get. And then just doing the same thing on the other eye. I love this like romantic kind of eye look. We are actually going to be going in with liquid eyeshadow as well because um, there's a new one from L'Oreal that I want to try. So honestly a lot of this color is probably going to get covered up which is kind of sad because it's really pretty. And then I'm going to jump back in with that blush wine and use that on my lower lash line just to blend everything out. I'm just popping that beneath here so everything flows together. And then I'm going to jump in with pop a bottle to highlight just to make that shine a little bit. Ooh, that has such a pretty pearlescent finish. Wow. This shadow I feel like almost has a little bit of a different consistency from the other ones. It's a little bit more like almost creamy, less powdery, um, which is interesting. And I'm gonna just pop it in my inner corners as well. Okay, now over that, I wanna try these new Brilliant Eyes liquid shadows. I think this color goes pretty well. Um, I don't know what the color is though. Does it say? Diamond Drop, I love that. So these are from L'Oreal, they're new. Um, so I'm going to go in with this over and see, oh wow, it's very pigmented, so this is really going to kind of take away all the shadow, which is a little sad actually because it's a pretty shadow, but this is a really pretty color. Maybe I'll pack a little bit on with this and then I'll go in with a brush and kind of sheer it out. Let's do that. I'm just going to go in with a clean brush and that'll help to sheer out. The shadow so we can still see that pretty color beneath shine through. Ooh, that looks really pretty well. This is very, very pigmented too, which is nice. Definitely full pigment. Wow, that looks so pretty. Ooh! It's like soft and romantic, but still very glam, which I like. The shadow is blending out super easily with the brush too, which is really nice because not every liquid shadow you can really work with with the brush, but this one is working really nicely. I feel like it does look a little chunky though. Like it's actually not chunky like on my actual lid, but I think because of the, like how metallic it is, it almost looks like it's chunky, um, which I don't know if I love that. Cause like it's not chunky, but I also don't want it to look like that either. But overall I do think it's pretty. I don't have any new lashes or anything, so I'm just gonna pop on the 614s from Salon Perfect real quick. I'm not gonna do liner cause I feel like we got a lot going on already that we don't really need liner to, you know? I'm just gonna pop this on super close to the lash line. They have a really thin band, so they're very easy to work with. And you guys can find these lashes at Walmart. They're super affordable, but honestly like my favorites. And then my waterline, I'm just gonna pop in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Exit. This is my favorite white liner. Um, I don't have anything new, so I'm just gonna pop in with this. How many times can I say pop in one video? I'm sorry, you guys. I need to expand my vocabulary. 
And then I'm just blending my natural lashes in with the falsies real quick. And then we're gonna move on to our new face stuff, which I'm very excited about. Okay, eyes are done, so we're gonna move on to the face. I have some really exciting stuff. So the first thing that I really wanna try is this is from Revlon, and this is their Skin Light Prismatic Bronzer. It looks beautiful. The packaging is really, really pretty. It looks like it's gonna be a very like glowy kind of bronzer. Ooh, I'm excited. So I've actually been using the little blendy full. I've been flipping it over. Like I use this side for powder, and then like for under eyes, and then the other side for bronzer. And it's nice because it kind of goes to a point, so it gives you like that sculpted kind of look. So I'm just gonna pack some of this bronzer on there and blend it. This is definitely like a lighter shade, so this is Sunlit Glow. So it's not gonna be like a super intense bronzer or anything like that, just kind of like a nice like natural glow sort of vibe. I feel like all of these products are like glowy products and I didn't even really realize that like when I grabbed the products for the video, um, but I guess that's gonna be like a big trend this year is like glowy kind of natural skin, which I am all about. I feel like matte has had its time to shine for the past like 10 years, like everything is matte, 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 so I'm excited to see more glowy type products coming out. I feel like that gave me enough sculpting on my cheeks that I don't actually have to go in with like a matte bronzer to contour, but I am gonna go in just with a matte bronzer just to contour out my nose real quick. Oh, it looks good. I've been liking doing this recently. I used to never contour my nose at all. I feel like it looks better that way. <laughs> For blush and highlight, I saw this little duo. This guy I found at CVS. So this wasn't at Walgreens or Ulta, but I did find it at CVS. And this is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter. So it's a blush and a highlighter. These are new from Wet n Wild. The shade on this is After Sex Glow, which is quite the name, um, but it looks really, really pretty. I hope my video doesn't get demonetized for saying that. So this is what the blush looks like. Oh, that is beautiful. And then highlight, oh yay! Okay, I'm so excited about this. I feel like this blush shade could also definitely be used as a highlighter on deeper skin tone as well, um, which is nice. And I'm gonna just put that on the cheeks because it definitely has so much glow to it. So it's like you can wear it as a blush, but then you could also definitely wear it as a highlight too because it definitely has a lot of glow and sheen to it. And then I'm gonna go in with the highlight Yes, oh my goodness. So, so pretty. <gasps> oh, wow, now my nose too. Oh my God, Wet n Wild always kills it on affordable. I mean, they kill it on everything, but especially affordable highlights. I feel like their highlights are always blinding and beautiful and super, super affordable. So like, what more can you ask for? We are just glowing today. Last but not least for our lips, I'm just gonna line them real quick. This is the e.l.f. X Nabella liner. We do have a new um, lipstick and lip gloss though. Just no new liner and this has been one of my favorites. The new lipstick that I want to try is from Revlon and this is Super Lustrous Matte in the shade Untold Stories. They came out with a lot of new shades um, but this looks like a really beautiful nude so let's go in. Yes! Oh my god this is beautiful! Wow! So, so pretty. I feel like it's very hard for me to find nude lipsticks from the drugstore that I really, really love. But this shade is like on point. Like this is the exact kind of lipstick shade that I love. It reminds me a lot of Max um, Honey Love, which I use all the time. Wow, okay, this might be like my new favorite, like 100%. Untold Stories from Love from Revlon, don't sleep on it because this is really pretty. And it is a matte finish, but of course we're gonna go in with gloss because I have this new gloss. This is from L'Oreal and this is their Chromatic Bronze Lip Topper. It just looks too pretty not to buy. Um, so I found this one at Ulta in the shade Cosmo Girl. They did have a couple shades in this and there was like no seal on this at all. So I'm like, mm, I feel like this has been used before, but uh, we're gonna give it a go. <gasps> Ooh, that is beautiful. Wow. It has so much glitter to it, but it's so pretty. <gasps> And it's not gritty glitter. Like you can't actually feel the glitter particles, which is what I like. Cause I hate when you can feel like there's like crumbs or something on your lips, where this you get the glitter look, but not the feeling of it. Super, super pretty. I feel like this is such like a Valentine's Day soft glam kind of romantic look. And I love the way that it turned out. Honestly, like these products were really good. The drugstore is killing the game. Like, oh my gosh, definitely be sure to let me know in the comments any new drugstore products you guys want me to try or high end as well. I'm definitely gonna be trying new high end products too, like stuff from Sephora and all that. But I feel like these products worked really well and it looks really nice and it's affordable. So you can't complain about that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.